Hello, Facebook. This is Kimberly from San Diego, California. Sorry, if you saw my live yesterday, you know that I forgot to turn my mic on. So I just was double checking to make sure that it was on more like triple checking. Anyways, um, Kimberly from San Diego, California. If you see that little red live box up in the top corner, drop a one and let me know that you're catching me live and where you're from. And if you don't see that little red live box, I am so sorry that I missed you, but if you will drop a two or hashtag replay and let me know where you're coming in from as well. I love getting to know my people. And if you're new and you've never seen me before, please drop new. I would love to get to know more about you and to talk to you and to know what you like. Hi, Carlina. Oh, my husband says that the audio is good. So... We are making low-carb blueberry muffins. I don't say keto because it does have blueberries, even though technically um, blueberries can be keto. I am doing really well today. Um, I actually drove up to Oceanside for a part of the day. I hope that your Thursdays are going great. What did you do today, Carlina? So, um, like I said, if you are just jumping on, I am making some low-carb blueberry muffins. Hopefully, I have enough almond flour. If not, I'll sub in a little bit of coconut flour, and I'll explain to you guys how you can do that. I know there have been some issues with that um, for some people, and it actually is a very common issue. Um, for most people. And if you caught my um, stories earlier, you saw that I just like took a shower and washed my hair. Carlina, a haircut and a pedicure sounds amazing. Okay, so I'm not going to have enough almond flour. So this calls for two cups of almond flour. This is one and a third. So that would mean I would need two-thirds more um, cups, and we go um, a third of a third. So a little less than a third of uh, coconut flour is what I'm going to sub with to make this right. And yes, y'all, I, I don't know if you can see my bread container. Um, I have an old-style bread tin that I had gotten from my in-laws. Um, and that is where I keep my coconut flour and my almond flour, um, just because, especially with coconut flour, it absorbs everything, so I don't want to stick it in the freezer. So, I'm going to grab just a little less than a third of a cup of coconut flour to add in here. Hi, Kimberly. How are you doing today? Hi, Rob. Hi, Lena. Hi, Tina. Um, there is a recipe for chili, and I know my husband is greatly wanting it. Um, he's over here smiling at me. Um, I am thinking about making it later this week. I know that I've had a request. Y'all, if you have requests, please message me your requests. That way I can add it into my calendar. I absolutely love it. Um, I've had a request for tortillas, and so I will be doing those soon, too. Thank you so much, Kimberly. I really appreciate appreciate the shares. If you all love my videos and you come and watch me every night, you get value out of my videos, you think they're great, please feel free to share them out. And I know I added things without even telling you all. Um, so this is supposed to be two cups of almond flour. Because I ran out of almond flour, I added some coconut flour. If you're subbing with coconut flour, you use one-third of whatever you would use for um, your almond flour, okay? Otherwise, you're going to get a congealed mess. And then I am going to put one and a half teaspoons of baking powder in here. And I am just mixing the dry ingredients up first um, because you add the dry to the wet. And so it just makes it easier when you've already pre-mixed the stuff. 
So, okay, so that was one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. If you're gluten-free, make sure that your baking powder is gluten-free. Um, I am finishing up everything that we already have. I don't think this is completely gluten-free. And what I mean by that is baking, oh, it is, it says it's a gluten-free product. Um, baking powder in and of itself is gluten-free, but sometimes they are manufactured in the same buildings um, where they do gluten products, so there's some cost contamination. Hi, Lupe. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Kimberly. How are, how's everybody doing this Thursday? Y'all, I hope that you guys aren't able to hear my dogs. They're going a little nuts over here in the corner. Because, of course, they know that I am live on Facebook. And I just added a third of a cup of this monk fruit sweetener classic. I really love this brand. Um, they have a classic, a golden, um, and I believe they have a confectioner powder. If you don't have confectioner powder and it calls for it and you just have the classic, you can put this through a blender and make it very powdery for you. Ooh. And then I am just going to mix this all up and get the clumps out of it. What? Oh, you can't hear the dogs. You know, you can talk. Yes, but nobody can hear me because oh, okay. it's really good. Hi, Phyllis. How are you doing tonight? Oh, so I wanted to tell you guys, if you, I know I kind of touched on this. If you guys have, like, requests for certain things that you want to see that are gluten-free or low-carb, um, let me know. Part of the reason why I'm doing this blueberry recipe tonight is because uh, Shelly messaged me this morning and said that she had some blueberries and she wanted to know if I had a recipe for blueberry muffins. So, Kimberly, <laughs> yes. Sarah, yes, blueberry muffins are a definite favorite here. And we're low carb, so we're not fully keto, so we do love our fruits and veggies. And by the way, I just heard my oven beep, so I wanted to let you know you want to preheat your oven to 350. Or if you have a crazy oven like mine, uh, where it's in, what is it, honey? Centri oven. Centigrade. In the so our oven's in centigrade. It's 180 centigrade or 350 if you have a normal oven. Um, the difference between monk fruit and swerve, they are both uh, sweeteners, both sugar-free sweeteners. Um, I like this because it's a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. I just particularly like this one. Um, Swerve kind of gives me a funny aftertaste. Hi, Phyllis. How are you doing? Hi, Ashton. So I mixed up all of our dried ingredients, and now I'm going to mix up our wet ingredients in here. This bowl is bigger because I'm going to add the dry to the wet. Let me, I've got a little bowl over here to put my eggshells in. Um, so this calls for three eggs. Carlina, I hope that answered your question. Really, um, it is a preference thing. Um, I prefer monk fruit. If you guys like swerve, use swerve. If you're not keto, you're not low carb, you're not counting anything, go ahead and use sugar. I mean, it really is all about what is best for you and your family. So I am going to whisk these eggs up. And part of the reason why I'm doing that is because the air that's in the eggs is going to make the muffins a little fluffy. And here's my little fluff butt over here trying to nose her way into my eggs. Ooh! Okay. So I don't know if y'all can see that. There's um, definitely some air in the eggs. I really just want to kind of get it very with. Hi, Lori. How are you doing? Okay. So this is three eggs whisked, and we're going to add all of the wet ingredients in this bowl and mix it really well. So I'm actually going to start with 
the lemon juice. We need a tablespoon of lemon juice. So I already cut up a lemon and juiced it. You know what? I'm just going to pour it into my tablespoon measure. Okay. So a tablespoon of lemon juice. The lemon juice is super important to this recipe um, just because it brings out that freshness in the berries. Eggs are good for dogs. Our dogs do get them um, occasionally. <laughs> I will add it into their food. Uh, they also get salmon oil and um, glucosamine. When I can find liquid glucosamine, we're currently out. But, you know, I'm still looking um, for a really good one. And then ooh, we're going to add some vanilla. We got a lot of lorries on here tonight. Hi, everybody. I hope that you are enjoying this. I hope that you are getting value out of this. Um, I know that I said this earlier. Hi. By the way, if you don't already know me, I like extra vanilla, so I am adding extra vanilla. <laughs> um, so, and I also added uh, the zest from that one lemon, an entire uh, lemon zest. So um, if you are catching this live and you see that little red live box up in the left-hand corner of your phone or your device, um, if you'll drop a one and let me know where you're coming in from. If you're catching this as a replay sometime in the future and you don't see that little red live box, will you drop me a hashtag replay or a two? Let me know where you're from, and I am so sorry I missed you. You'll learn I drink a lot of water. Uh, and um, if you're new, just drop new um, and let me know where you're from. I really enjoy getting to meet new people. So I'm going to add the sour cream. So, and also, y'all, if you are new or you're missing this live and you want to catch me on a live in the future, you can tap my face. And up in the right-hand corner of your screen will be three dots. And you can um, hit follow, and there should be an option to follow first or turn on notifications. Um, that way you are notified whenever I go live. And I do go live every night with a new recipe. Sometimes I go live two or three times a day. And, y'all, I want your opinions. I am thinking about doing a live for, like, Sunday brunches. Um, so I want to know if you guys are interested in that or if you like me going live at night. Um, so if you want to see a brunch, drop brunch down in the comments below. Um, if you just like nighttime, if you'll drop me the moon emoji. So this is a half a cup of sour cream. I get to throw this away now. <laughs> I buy my sour cream at Costco. It's the Daisy Sour Cream. Um, and I really love these containers because I can squeeze it out and I don't have to worry about uh, messing up everything that's in the original container. Do you, would you guys like, do you guys like the squeeze packages that they have out for different products or do you guys prefer like an actual jar of things? I kind of want to know. I like the jar stuff. I just don't want to get them messy. Okay. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? I hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday. Okay, so I am mixing this sour cream in here. And we are just making sure that all of these ingredients are really well blended. Ooh. And I'm just going to go down my list. Okay, there's almond flour, there's eggs, there's sour cream, there's monk fruit, there's baking powder, there's lemon juice and lemon zest and vanilla. And then the blueberries are going to be the last ingredient. Hi, Tina. How are you doing tonight? So if y'all didn't see the beginning of my live, I put all of the dry ingredients. This is one of our Tupperware containers, y'all. Um, I mixed all of the dry ingredients so that they are really well blended so that I can mix it easier. And I don't have to worry about clumps because I also um, 
with almond flour and coconut flour, you kind of get clumps. So it's not as fine as regular flour. So you really want to get all of those clumps out. Hi, Shelly. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Tina. I really love when people share me. And I will, if I see it, that you shared. Um, if you share, will you type shared down in the comments below so that I can personally thank you because I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I love when you guys share me out. It lets me know that you really love what I am doing and... Um, that you really want to share me with your friends, with your family, or with any groups that you're in as well. Shelly, I was telling everybody how much they just need to message me and let me know what they want to see. This was a recipe that I had planned for later in the week. Shelly said that she had some blueberries, and so I decided to just do it tonight instead. Ashton, thank you so much for sharing. I really, truly appreciate it. So I am mixing all of those dry ingredients into the wet ingredients, and my husband's over here trying to distract me by playing with the dog, y'all. You missed the beginning. What is in the liquid? Um, in the liquid is uh, three eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, the lemon zest, and let's a lemon zest from an entire lemon and a teaspoon of vanilla but you know I like my vanilla so there's like two teaspoons in this because we just really like our vanilla here I think that there you can't have enough vanilla and things so that is all mixed in and if you guys don't know if this is the first time seeing me I will after I finish the live, I will post the recipe in the top of, I guess when you look at it, you'll see the recipe up top before the video. And also, because this is a baked good, I will put a picture of the final product down in the comments below of the original video if you're catching this, um, because somebody shared it to a group. Just look in the original video. There are pictures there. Give me just one second. And I know what I forgot, honey. Can you hand me the canola spray, please? Um, oh. Y'all, I like my canola spray or my spray can spray. Thank you. 